Hello, EC Forever here. This is Forever Gaming. Today I'm going to be bringing you the video I was supposed to upload a few days ago on the night warning siren. I got my friend X Speed here with me. Say what's up. What's up, you two? So he's just going to be hanging out with me while I show you guys how this is done. Thanks for watching. Alright, so basically what this is is a night warning system so when night comes um, you're gonna have alarm set off for a certain duration to let you know that night's coming and you can set it with these to however long you want it to be so you can have a long alarm or a short alarm just depending on uh, how much of a warning you want so just to give you an example I'm gonna just delete the sensor to simulate night so here we go Okay, so you see there for a short duration, uh, light came on and siren went off for a few seconds to let you know that it's nighttime. Alright, so now I'm just going to show you how to make this. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to make the delay or um, you want to be able to keep the redstone on for a short period of time uh, when it receives the signal from the sensor. So, how we're going to do that is you're going to basically have two blocks that do the whole thing. So you put this block here and about one, two, three, four, five blocks away put another block. And you're going to put a torch on the first block, redstone going into this block, torch off of that block, and then a red, the redstone coming off of that torch going into this block. So you made like a loop. Okay? So this is going to be your signal that will stay on for a short period of time right here have that go to block one of these it's a knot gate right there okay now you're gonna take a repeater and from this first one here facing away from it you're gonna put your repeaters and depending on how many you put in is gonna be uh, how long the signal stays on for so you can also flick these to make it longer. So here I'm going to go ahead and put all the repeaters in place. X speed you want to flick all these repeaters so that they're uh, at four. four ticks. Yeah. Oh, I did these ones backwards. the tubes. Okay, now hopefully I did that right. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I did it wrong. I think I think it's right. We'll see. You <laughs> were laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, see, and then that redstone signal will stay on until it completes the path. I'll do that one more time just to show you guys. And that line comes on right there until this is finished making its loop. Okay, so that's how you're gonna make your your delay so that the button or the, you know, when the sensor, the night sensor comes on, or daylight sensor, it sends the signal for a short period of time and then turns off automatically. Okay, so there's our signal for the delay. And then what you're gonna wanna do is create your um, alarm. So how we're gonna do that is make a clock real quick. So. I'm going to make another video on how to make clocks, but this is a really efficient one. You just take a hopper, you're going to crouch, point at this bottom one, press L2, that'll point it that way. You can delete this one and do the same thing, and they should be like facing towards each other. And then you just throw one item in there. You're going to take your comparator, face away, put it right there. And you're going to have redstone coming off. This signal is extremely weak, as you can see. You can barely see it flicker in there. Here, let me drink a potion so that it's not so dark. Oops, my buttons. So since this signal is so weak, you can put a redstone repeater on it to make it a little bit stronger. Okay, so there you go. Now we got our clock. All right, so you're going to want this to go into a block. You're going to have your power coming from your delayer going into the knock gate into this block. And then you're going to have your clock going into this block as well. 
So now this is your alarm tick right here. So this right here will only start flashing for a short period of time when night comes. Okay, so we're gonna have redstone come off of here. And this part's real simple. We're just gonna branch out two different directions. So go like that and like that. Put one, well, let's make it red for a knot gate. Put one knot gate with a note block at the end of it. And then one is just gonna have an, uh, one at the end of it. So you have two note blocks connected to this torch. Uh, just one is going through a knot gate. Okay. I'm going to set these to a higher pitch, so it sounds more like an actual alarm. That's probably good right there. Okay, so now when nighttime comes, this alarm is going to go off for a short duration. And I think it's about to be night, so if I just slap down this daylight sensor really quickly. Oops. Oh, there you have it. You can see it goes off for a short period of time. Let's do this. Let's put the daylight sensor on. When night comes, it should go off again. Just show you kind of what'll happen. Come on, go down, you stupid sun. I don't think it's getting a signal. No, it's not. It's already nighttime according to the game. So, can do just put a torch here to show how it works again. So, say night comes, the sun start to set, bam. So you can have those set all throughout your level. You can uh, do redstone even underground with uh, note blocks. And you can even do this in survival. It doesn't take a lot of resources to make these note blocks. So you could have uh, redstone run into note blocks all over your world in any of the major places that you're at. And you know, it does help out because even though it's obvious that when night's coming, um, if you have night vision potions that you're using or you're just busy chopping down trees or something and you don't realize the night's coming, it's nice to have a, an alarm go off. So I hope this video was helpful. I say thanks to Xspeed for helping us out. And thanks. that's the video. Yeah, thanks, man. See you guys next time. Leave a like and subscribe.